In this video, we will derive the condition for maximum current in mixed grouping of identical cells. By that what I mean is, suppose you have <coughs> n identical cells each having internal resistance of small r in each row. So this is one row. So in this one row, you have n cells connected in series. All of them are identical, they have the same EMF eta and internal resistance small r. Then what you do is, you replicate these rows m times m. So that means you will now have m rows of n cells in series. right? So a collection of n cells is connected in parallel in the form of m rows. So when you, So for such a collection of cells, we are going to find when the current will be maximum through the external resistance capital R. So to do that, overall we will use Ohm's law for the entire circuit. That means I is equal to total effective EMF across the external resistance divided by the effective resistance in the circuit, which is capital R effective. So now our goal would be to find out when this current I is maximum. So for that we need to get an expression for effective EMF and effective resistance for the entire circuit. So let's start with finding effective EMF. So now first we need to find the effective EMF for each row. Now each row has n cells which are identical and have same EMF eta connected in series. So the potential difference of due to each cell will add up and you will get n times the EMF E. So for each row the effective EMF would be n times eta. Now next each of these rows are connected in parallel and they have the same EMF of n times eta. So the effective EMF due to all the m rows would also be same n times eta. Next we will find the total resistance of the circuit. To find that we need to find the total resistance due to the internal resistances of all the cells. That would be in series with this external resistance capital R. So once we find the effective resistance of all the cells, we can add it to the external resistance capital R to get the total effective resistance for the entire circuit. So to do that, first find the effective resistance of each row. So since all the internal resistances small r are in series, they will add up. So the effective resistance for each row would be n times small r. Then each of these identical resistances of n times small r are connected in parallel. So we have already proved that if you have uh, say n equal resistors in parallel or each having resistance capital R then effective resistance would be capital R by n. So here you are having m equal resistors each of value nr. So the effective resistance would be nr by m. So that's how we find the total effective resistance of all the cells. So that when we add it to the external resistance capital R, we will get the total effective resistance in the circuit. So now the total current through the external resistance we can find out because we know the expression for effective EMF of the circuit and effective resistance of the circuit. So we'll substitute what we found. Effective EMF is n times eta. Effective resistance is nr by m plus capital R. So do the algebra mr plus nr will be here divided by m. This m will go to the numerator. So it becomes like this. Now we want to know when will the current be maximum. So it will be maximum when the numerator is minimum. But since this is a sum of two terms, we can't really find out uh, when it will be minimum. So we have to rewrite this term in terms of a difference of terms. So for that we use this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So here you have this a, this a and b in terms of squares, I mean in terms of a sum. So a squared plus b squared. So we can map it to this nr plus mr can be mapped to a squared plus b squared. So we get a squared plus b squared is a minus b whole squared plus 2ab. So if you map this with this, you will get a squared should correspond to nr. 
that means root of nr whole squared will be nr which should be same as a squared and b squared should be mapped to mr so root of mr the whole squared is will be mr that would be same as b squared so a corresponds to root nr b corresponds to root mr so accordingly if you substitute for a and b in in the right hand side of this equation you would get like this root of nr minus root of mr the whole squared plus 2 times root of now a is root a is root nr so 2 times root nr multiplied by b is root mr so root mr so that's what i have written it together as root of nm small r capital r so now since we have expressed nr plus mr in terms of a difference of terms we can now say this whole expression will be minimum when this difference becomes zero right so then this whole term will cancel out so for this difference to become zero root of nr should be equal to root of mr that means if you square both sides you will get nr should be equal to mr that means the external resistance r should be equal to nr by m and we know that nr by m is the effective resistance of the internal resistance of all the cells because n times r is the resistance of each row and each row is in parallel m times so effective resistance of the entire group of cells is nr by m so we get the condition for maximum current as the external resistance should be equal to the total internal total internal resistance of all the cells so let's find out what is the value of the maximum current when this condition is met so you just have to substitute in the total effective resistance instead of the internal resistance of all the cells you replace it with external resistance capital r so the total effective resistance would become r plus r which is twice of external resistance so the maximum current is total emf which is n times e by total resistance which is 2r so this is easy to remember so in this mixed grouping the maximum current is attained when the total internal resistance equals the total external resistance so if you call the external resistance r the total resistance in the circuit will become twice r and total emf is n times the emf of each cell so maximum current is ne by twice r